Tennessee won the toss. Alabama's Tim Clark will kick it off, and Gary Moore takes it at the 13-yard line, loses the football, and Tennessee drops on it. Streeter on first down 10. What they cannot do is turn the ball over. Second man through is James Berry, who gets back to the line of scrimmage. There are today's officials, and I'll read them down in a moment. Streeter, second man through, and look at Mr. Boyd. Very quick, got James Berry. Three wide receivers out. On third down seven, Streeter back to throw. Throws, has a man wide open. First down at the 34-yard line. Anthony Hancock makes the catch. They're very thin. It's a hot day, about 80 degrees, although there is a good stiff wind. First man through is the fullback. And that is Terry Daniels, and he gets out to the 44-yard line. Second down and five to go. The ball at the 39 of Tennessee. Trader overthrows Ingram on the far side. Now a big play, third and five. Trader still with the ball, and in deep trouble, they'll have to kick the ball away. And he is kicking with the wind. Coley comes up, will have a chance to return the ball, gets it at the 32-yard line, and down quickly at the 37-yard line. About a five-yard return. <laughs> Sheely hangs on to the football, turns it upfield, and gets across the 40-yard line and picks up eight yards. Make it second down and four. Quick pitch back, that is Jackson. Jackson near the first down and may have it. Played safety a year ago. They switched him to corner this year. An injury made him go back the other way. Now Jackson has got the first down with plenty to spare. Billy Jackson playing today's game at Birmingham. First down 10 from the 48. Stedman Sheely overthrows his man, Tim Clark. And there's that classic wishbone on second down 10 from the 48-yard line of Alabama. Sheely keeps the football, loses the football. Tennessee recovers in Alabama territory. It looks like Brian Ingram fell on the ball, number 84. Greg Pukey hit him, and Ingram fell on the ball. First down in Alabama territory at the 48-yard line for Tennessee, and Streeter goes back, throws the ball down, could be intercepted, and it's up for grabs and incomplete. Second down, Phil Ingram comes wide to the right. Hancock to the left. Streeter went for the bomb, now gives to the fullback for a couple of tough yards. That is Terry Daniels. Big third down play as they went for the bomb and then handed the ball off to Daniels, their fullback. But third down, Streeter hard pressed, slings the ball out here, intended for Daniels, and overthrows him. Capacity crowd, Warren kicks the ball straight up in the air. It'll come down at about the 20 yard line, bounces, and takes a Tennessee bounce. Inside the 15 will be down at about the 12. First down, Alabama. Stedman Sheely hangs on to the ball, and that's outstanding play by the right defensive end, Ingram. Stedman Sheely. It is Tennessee's ball. He had the ball go loose again. He and Whitman on exchange, I do believe. Lost the football and looked like Gunn got it. That's the second fumble. Gary Moore and Hubert Simpson are now the running backs for Tennessee. Second man, oh my heavens, what a hit put on by Randy Scott. Streeter carrying the football. He's not run with it yet today. Pretty good move there, and is buried as he gets to about the 12-yard line. It'll be third down. Streeter has room in front of him. Touchdown, and he catches it, and he did. Ingram. Super play. All year long, Alabama has given up nine points. They've given up six so far with 7.54 to go. 17 and kicking the extra points. Ingram to hold, and the kick is good. And surprise, surprise, Tennessee up to nearly three touchdown underdog. Southern Cal was right up there with them, got tied by Stanford a week ago, and look at the foot put into it by Duncan. McNeil takes it in the end zone and will bring it out. Whoa, down he goes at the 14-yard line. And Stedman Sheely trying to get this offensive wishbone going. In motion comes Billy Jackson to the left. The up man is Whitman, the fullback, and he almost lost the football again. The ball squirted loose. 7.23 to go, first quarter.
Edmund Sheely looking for Gray down on the down and out, and he's made a fine catch. First down, Alabama at the 32-yard line. First down from a 32. Edmund Sheely has the time to throw for Clark again, and this time overthrows him at the 48-yard line. That is wide to the left on second down 10. There goes Major Ogilvie. He's not handled the ball out to the right as Whitman, the fullback, goes straight ahead and picks up about seven or eight yards. Clark is back in. 7-0 Tennessee. And the fullback, Whitman, tries to get the first down. Now, I don't know if he's got it or not. Humphrey has outstanding hang time. They seldom return the ball against him. Left-footed kicker. Roland James comes up. He's going to try to return it. Coming off this side, and right there's one of the most successful returns in the last two years against Woody Humphrey. First down at their own 37-yard line. They lead by seven. And Streeter hands off, and straight ahead goes Hubert Simpson across the 40-yard line. Again, same play, and this time they're not going anywhere. That is Thomas Boyd. Ball is at the 42-yard line of Tennessee. It is third down and five to go. And Street is going to throw for it. Has time. Now has running room. And this fellow can run. Going for the first down. He's got the first down and more. Dragged out of bounds in Alabama territory at the 45-yard line. Down. Street has come up with some big import. And there's a first up the middle by Hubert Simpson. Gets down to the 40-yard line. And that is five and a half yard. Second down and four to go. The ball inside the 40-yard line. Big hole up the middle. And first down, Tennessee as Hubert Simpson first down to the 31-yard line. But they have moved the football. First down at the 31 of Alabama. Again, straight ahead. This time, Gary Moore picks up a yard or two inside the 30-yard line. And Tennessee, after all, is 4-1. and one. Second down, Streeter out looking. Has a man in the open. That is Hubert Simpson. Simpson inside the 15-yard line to the 14. First down, Tennessee. Hancock and Ingram. First down at the 14. Streeter sends it the other way. Straight up the middle goes Gary Moore. And he bursts for eight yards. Second down and four to go for the first down. Straight ahead. First down, Alabama. And the Alabama fans can't believe it. And the big crowd of Tennessee people here are delirious. 7-0 Tennessee. The ball's looking for yet another one. Streeter, touchdown! And I want to tell you, they moved that football. Fantastic drive. That's the companion play off of that straight handoff where he fakes a handoff. By the extra point. Ingram to hold, and he hasn't missed all year. And there's a shocker of the year with almost three quarters to go. At this moment, Tennessee 14, Alabama nothing. Jim. Temperature now well in the 80s. That is Ken Coley, who is deep. This ball will go what? Into the end zone, will they mark it, saying it comes out, or will they? It's Don Jacobs at quarterback. And Haney, number 21, the other halfback, as Paul Bear Bryant makes some big moves offensively to shake up that starting unit. They haven't done anything. There's a quick pitch back, and around the side for four yards goes Haney. The sophomore of the number one rushing team in the nation. Second down and five. Jacobs with the football and going to be dragged down. As a matter of fact, he is smothered for a loss. It'll be third down and long. Third down and six and a half to go from the 23 and a half yard line of Alabama. Sheely back to throw. In trouble. Down he goes. And Tennessee is playing defense. Led by Steve Davis. And the Alabama crowd, a sellout here, off before the end of the quarter, and they will. James will have a chance to return this one from the 40-yard line out to about the 47-yard line. Here's the shocking score at the end of one quarter. Legion Field, Birmingham, Alabama. Tennessee, 14, number one in the nation, Alabama. Nothing. Legion Field, Birmingham, Alabama, the beginning of the second quarter. It's 14 to nothing, Tennessee. First and 10, Tennessee at their own 46 yard line. Streeter on a quick pitch back to Gary Moore. Moore hops, one man gets into Alabama territory. Wide to the right goes Parrish. And straight ahead, and I mean they're going straight ahead, is Hubert Simpson. Yeah, I think this might be what they're doing. On straight ahead, there's another straight ahead, a quick opening burst. 
First down is Simpson inside a 30 yard line. If this keeps up one surprise and the other shocked. Straight ahead for some tough yardage inside the 25 yard line goes Hubert Simpson. Streeter long count this time and he's going to be buried. Absolutely buried. But third down and 10 Daniels is in Simpson has gone out and the backfield for Tennessee third and long and Streeter back to throw has to get it away puts it up for grabs and it's almost caught Harper almost caught the ball a 45 yard field goal attempt by Alan Duncan he has the wind at his back from 45 yards out it is good I tell you they've got it going Jim Alan Duncan kicks a 45-yard field goal. And with 12.58 to go in the first half, it is 17 to nothing. Duncan, who just kicked a 45-yard field goal, will kick off for Tennessee. Deep kick. That is McNeil, and he decides to stay right there. Along with Billy Jackson, Steve Whitman, and Major Ogilvy. Ogilvy has not touched the football yet. There is Jacobs running with the football, and look at staying home. He flips the ball out to Ogilvy, and James has to roll him out of bounds. I said Ogilvy had not touched the football. Alabama's still in its own territory, but making noises as though this ball game is far from being over. Stay with us. This will be a beaut. Jacobs, a long count. Finally hangs on to the football and turns it upfield for a yard or two. As And there he is at quarterback now. Major Ogilvy breaks into the clear. Well, he's handled the ball only twice and has picked up a first down each time. Bert Kraut is told to come wider to the right. Here's a tight end split wide to the right. First man through. It's Whitman, the fullback, and he picks up seven, seven or eight yards. And now, second down and three to go. Long count. That is Jackson, and I don't think he got the first down. It'll be third and short. Third down and a yard to go. For Alabama at the 31-yard line of Tennessee. Quick pitch back to Major Ogilvy, who's got the first down and fumbled the ball out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First down at the 25. 17 to nothing. Ball loose. <laughs> Billy Jackson is saying, we've got it. We've got it. Jacobs recovered his own fumble on second down 10. Alabama. First man through his Whitman ball is loose and I believe Tennessee got it. That's the third they lost. That same play with Whitman riding him into the middle. They're, they're not get, making good connection there. That was the fourth fumble and they lost three of them. Streeter hands off straight ahead. That was number 34 James Berry. One of those days thus far for the Crimson Tide. They're all by themselves at number one. Streeter passing from his own territory. Puts the ball out here. And quickly they're calling for interference. Ingram has not been in. He caught a touchdown pass. Streeter going to throw again on third down. Rifles the ball. It's up in the air for anybody. And it is caught. Intercepted. By Robbie Jones. That's the 15th interception. Alabama leads the nation in that department. Edmund Sheely is back in. Sheely all by himself. Look at this. Touchdown. How about that? Tim Travis got away from everybody. And Alabama quickly is back in the ball game. Tennessee betting on a running play all the way. Tim Travis, no one within 15 yards of him. Free to hold. Big point. No doubt about it. 9-0-3 to go. And it is 17-7. Tennessee leads Alabama. Alabama, a team that leads in rushing, has roared back to get on the board. And now Tennessee will try to keep its offense going. High kick, going to be taken by, well, who took it? Barry now finally picks it up. Mix up there. There's little or no excuse for that. All right, let's see how Jimmy Streeter operates here. You would think he would not put the ball up in the air. Almost a misstep there as Daniels Streeter straight ahead handing off to Daniels who gets out across the 20 yard line third down and five to go for Tennessee but they'll have to give the ball back to Alabama 
Second man through, and he's not going to get the first down. That is James Berry. Warren gets a nice kick away. Poley has it go over his head, and look at this bounce it gets for Tennessee. Inside the 15, down near the 10-yard line, they'll mark it at the 13. Outstanding kick to the starting backfield for Alabama. Stedman Sheely turning the corner. And didn't make it, did he? Second down, nine to go from the 14-yard line. Sheely's going to throw, and Clark is out here by himself. That's close to a first down. They are marking it at the 22. Third down and only about a half a yard to go. And Stedman Sheely may have gotten it simply by falling forward. Looked like there might have been a mix-up. All right, first down Alabama, 17 to 7, Tennessee. Midway, well, six minutes to go in the first half. Whitman gets a couple of. Second down, eight to go. Ball at the 25 yard line. Sheely, lots of time to throw. Now running out of time and running out of the group, and what a hit he takes. Picks up a yard or two. It'll be about third down and five. Here it is, third down and seven. Look out, Sheely gets the ball away. That is Jackson with the football, and he doesn't have a first down at the 29-yard line. And left-footed Woody Humphrey with that high, high kick. Hey, look at this. Roland James at the 27-yard line, and he gets across the 30, and see you later, Roland. They'll mark it at the 31. But first down from the 31-yard line. Bang. Just back to the line of scrimmage is Hubert Simpson. That's 17-7. Second down and just about 10 yards to go. Streeter rolling to the right. Oh, my foot right into the arms of number 47, Brian Braggs, and he couldn't hang on to it. And Streeter has been intercepted 10 times this year. Streeter back. Streeter looks. Streeter has a man out here, but it, unfortunately, it is an Alabama man, and he drops the ball. Jim Bob Harris with most of his passing today. Warren to kick the ball away. Coley is deep inside the 20, and it's going to be run to the sidelines and turn up field and out of bounds. Del Market, he stepped out of bounds at the 28 and a half yard line. Don Jacobson at quarterback. Sheely not there. It is Hill, the fullback. Ogilvy and Jackson, the halfbacks. There is Jacobs going back, unloading the ball, and has Crouch first down. Crouch first down inside the 45-yard line. Long count by Jacobs, maybe too long. It is not. Gives to the fullback straight ahead goes John Hill. And Hill rumbles inside the 40-yard line. Second down and five to go at the 39. Alabama trying to draw closer before this half ends. They're down by 10 points at the moment. There's a pitch out bobbled by Billy Jackson. Jackson tries to get outside, breaks one tackle, flag goes down. Biggest penalties that you could have in a march toward the end of the half with 1.44 to go. First down at the 16 of Tennessee. Jacobs. Uh oh! Gray's lost the ball! Way back across the 30. Tennessee says they've got it. But the officials have not yet. And now the officials do. They've lost four out of five. Fumble. All right. Tennessee leading 17 to 7. Benefiting from four recovered fumbles. And the ball off to Gary Moore. They've gotten it once back on an interception. Second down five. Look at this. Bursting for the first down out near midfield is Gary Moore. 39 seconds to go. Barry and Simpson, the setbacks. And Streeter back to throw. Throws long. He's got a man out there off his fingertips. Hancock had his man beat. Hancock outraces him. Oh. Barely gets away from him. That ball is about the best rim Jimmy Streeter has thrown all day long. Second down and 10. Streeter hands off this time and straight ahead down to the 44 yard line goes Gary Moore. Third down, four to go. Street is going to throw the ball. Look out. Coming in from the side. Safety blitz. Ball is knocked away, and out of bounds it goes. 
Now let's see what they call. And Alabama, they must be giving it to Tennessee because Alabama's bench is very mad. Jimmy Streeters decides he better get going and Ricky Tucker can run. Uh, he was he was passing. I thought his arm was in motion. I believe you're right, Jim. He was passing the football. Well, he now has gotten deep. Line drive kick. Coley takes it at the five-yard line. Look at the pursuit of Tennessee. Wow, is that man a fast man? Clark is wide to the left. They're going to run it out, and that's the end of the half right there. Billy Jackson takes it. Well, there's one of the real shockers. It's only half a football game. We've got 30 more minutes of playing time left, but I'll give you the score. The University of Tennessee, 17, and number one ranked Alabama, seven. Kicking off will be Alan Duncan, who has a 45-yard field goal to his credit, gets some foot into this, and it's going to be McNeil at the four-yard line. McNeil trying to get outside. Hey, it's played well over there by the Tennessee defense. They stayed at home. Quick pitch back to Billy Jackson. Jackson is ridden down on a fine tackle as he gets to the 18-yard line by Greg Buki. The defense for Tennessee. Second down and 10 to go. Sheely still with the football, throwing it downfield. And Jennifer Clark, and it is intercepted. Taken away by number 29, Danny Martin. Across the 50, the 40, and steps out of bounds as he hits to the 40, the 34-yard line. Make it the 33. And there's yet another turnover for Alabama today. Oh, they've lost the football again. Battle the four. And I believe Alabama's got it. That's who's got it. Well, they turn it right back. Haney is now in. Jackson is out as the left halfback. Haney's going to throw again. Oh, he's got Travis right there and can't hold on to it. And almost intercepting and Roland James has gone out for Tennessee and the defensive backfield Barksdale is in second down and 10 to go looked like a little mix up there Stedman Sheely turns it upfield and hello there Brian Ingram having an outstanding day Jones I don't know how badly he's hurt an ankle but it looked to be an ankle lost the football again Whitman may have jumped on it but it'll be fourth down at the 38 yard line kicking it away is Woody Humphrey High kick, fair catch called for by Roland James at the 23-yard line. Sutton, Marin, North, Jester, and Williams. The forward wall, and now the ball is thrown for an interception and picked off by Ricky Tucker. James Streeter has let that ball go a couple of times today. Jacobs turning it upfield. And has nine or maybe ten yards down to the 21-yard line. Second down, a yard to go. And off big fullback, he's got the first down. That's Steve Whitman out of Birmingham, Alabama. Wilbur Jones is back in there at the left corner spot. Jacobs keeps the football. Gets away. In real trouble. Away some more. Still in trouble, and finally down he goes. Loss on the play of a yard. Ten minutes, 50 seconds to go. Third quarter. Whitman has a New Jersey. Sheely calling, handing the ball to Whitman. And he gets a couple of yards only, and that is Greg Pukie. And they're not calling a timeout here, and his jersey's in the same kind of disrepair. Jacobs pitches out to Major Ogilvy. Look out, this could be it! Down to the one-yard line. Major Ogilvy. Seldom touches the football, but when he does... And now Hill is in there at fullback. Going for the touchdown is Major Ogilvy. His seventh touchdown of the year. And Alabama draws close with 9.40 to go. Flag is down, kick is up and good, and let's see what the flag is all about. The officials keep on moving. 9.40 to go. And here we are, folks. It's kicking into the wind. And he kicks it along, and it is caught, and that's a pretty good play for Tennessee, as it turns out. They get a first down at the 32-yard line. And so they need it now. The Crimson Tide is closing in. Streeter hangs on to the football, and he is hung on to... 
Tennessee needs a play here. You would think Streeter will go to the air. Nope. Going to run the football and pick up some yardage as Gary Moore gets out near the 35-yard line. Third down, seven to go. Streeter now forced to run, uh, throw the football. Look out. He not got nowhere there. And I don't know if that was a mix-up, a naked bootleg, or whether he had no one to hand to. But we'll have a chance to march and go ahead for the first time today. Kick is going to hit at the 32, take a big hop to Coley at the 20-yard line, where he gets away from some people and down the sidelines and out of bounds. Goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Whitman is in there, Haney is in there, and Ogilvy. Well, I want to tell you something. Major Ogilvy is some kind of football player. The timeout was called by Alabama with 7.03 left in the third quarter. They had the ball on their own 37-yard line. They ran seven plays. They got into Tennessee territory. So now we'll pick up the action is on the Tennessee 26-yard line. Seven plays later, Alabama has a fourth and one situation, okay? Now let's go back to Jim and Ken in Birmingham. Fourth down a yard to go. Oh, he's got it himself. That's Jacobs carrying the ball. First down, Alabama. Jacobs, first man through, that is Hill, John Hill. They've not been able to move the football. Alabama is coming on strong, and here they go with Jackson barreling down near four, first down at the 11-yard line. Billy Jackson. First down, riding is Hill, and he is stacked up. That'll be second down at the 10-yard line. They've got Krauts out to the left and Marks to the right. There's Jacobs turning it himself and gets down to the six-yard line. There's what Don Jacobs has done throwing. We've got 14 seconds to go, third quarter. Jacobs pitches the ball back. Ogilvy, touchdown. He can smell that goal line, Katie. Alabama goes ahead with five seconds to go, third quarter. It's 21 to 17, Alabama. And the good thing for Alabama, or I should say Tennessee, is that Alabama will have to kick off into the wind. High in the air. This will be Moore at the eight-yard line. Uh-oh. Finds a little hole and gets out across the 20-yard line. We've gone through three quarters. And at the end of three... Alabama, the number one team in the nation, 21, and Tennessee, 17. As we begin the fourth quarter, they're down by four, 21-17. Streeter is thrown in the backfield, wrestled down by Warren Lyles, the middle guard. Streeter forced to the air, pumps, throws, has a man over midfield. That is Harper. Harper first down, and that is what Tennessee needed. They're out near the 43-yard line. And Streeter on first down. And let's see whether or not number 74, Hannah, was drawn. Well, Jimmy Streeter, all-time total offense leader for Tennessee. Number six at quarterback. Second man through is Barry. Got back to the line of scrimmage only. Gary Moore. Streeter will be looking into the sun when he throws the ball, but his receivers will not be as they look back for it. Streeter getting out, firing the ball, coming down is almost caught by Hancock. 15 yards, or they'll have to kick it back to Alabama. Streeter rolling to his right. Now puts it down here for Hancock, and it's off his shoulder, and he may have missed seeing it. Jim Bob Harris was back there to break it up. And a ball hit him on the right shoulder. Well, I'm trying to find an excuse for him. <laughs> John Warren kicks it to Coley at the 20-yard line. Wall is forming on the far side, but Coley can't get there. And it's first down for Alabama. On first down. Don Jacobs in there at quarterback. Runs the football himself, and I wonder whether or not that was a design play. I don't think so, Jim. They no longer lead. Second down five. Jacobs. Well, he got a yard. Looked like he was going to be hit in the backfield. Third and four. 
First man through is the fullback, and that's Whitman, and he's got a first down across the 30-yard line. You would think the Crimson Tide now will just kind of ride things out on the ground. Look out. It looked like they jumped offside. Call off or not. Jacobs hangs on to the football, and we have a couple of flags down. They've relaxed. They've got uh, 10 minutes and 39 seconds to go in the ball game. First down and five from the 36. Long count by Jacobs. Fullback. That's Whitman. That jumping offside gave Alabama big luxury there. First down and five, and now they Jacobs keeps the football, pitches back out. Look out, here's that man again, Ogilvy, and guess what? He's got another first down. Across the 45 to the 46. First down, Alabama, at the 46-yard line. They've had a scare today, and it's not over yet. Jacobs pumps once. Jacobs puts it up. They'll have to look back into the sun, and he overthrows everybody as Marks runs into the defender. Television makes it easy for you. Ogilvy starts in motion to the right on second down 10. Jacobs hands off to Billy Jackson. Lots of running room, and Wilbur Jones makes the stop on him. But it's a first down inside the 40-yard line. First down, Alabama trying to put this away and put away the memories of what is going on. Fullback Whitman carries the football, and Jeff Fagan is in. Number 35. And that is Simon with the football, or Haney with the football, beg your pardon, and he's down to the 30-yard line. Third down and three to go. Tennessee has to stop Alabama, has to get the football back. First man through, is not given the ball. Jacobs turns it upfield, and Jacobs has got the first down at the 25-yard line. Jacobs operating the wishbone at the 25, make it the 26 of Tennessee. Second man is Ogilvy, and Ogilvy picks up a couple of tough yards. They lead. They've scored the last 21 points of the ball game and are marching right now with second down and five as Whitman gets near yet another Whitman. first down. Third down and just about a yard. Be interesting here if Alabama's held, wouldn't it? But Whitman's not going to be held. He's got the first down inside the 15-yard line of Tennessee. And thus, they're the volunteers of the University of Tennessee. Jacobs, touchdown! I believe that was an audible, Jim. Well, that sure made it look easy. Right up the middle, spread him open, nobody around him. Going for the two, it's 27-17, flag two-point territory so from 25 yards out it only counts for a single point and it does not count <laughs> and so it is 27 to 17 Alabama and with six minutes to go nothing is impossible but we'll say again that Tennessee has to get its offensive act together whoops very very short somebody's got to catch this free ball inside the 20 that is Daniels who knows what to do with the ball when he gets it and he's going to be wrestled down by players in games to come, saying, I told you so. Streeter gets the ball out, has to underthrow the ball as he was pressured. In the he has caused two fumbles. He has had four tackles for losses. That's the kind of athlete he is. That's just this year's statistic. Streeter looking and has his man at the 44-yard line. Hancock. Tennessee going to the air. Streeter, he can run, but he chooses to throw and has his man at the 44-yard line. Birmingham, Alabama. Tennessee down by 10, but moving the football. Reader on a handoff. Whoops. Hello there. That is Thomas Boyd greeting Gary Moore. As he, they've done it before. Moore goes to the other side. Streeter rolls out this way. Looking now. Delivers a football, and there's a flag down. Called on number 28, McNeil. And on this side is Harper, the tight end, split about 7 to 10 yards. And Streeter. They're pushing him. He gets the ball away for Ingram. It's going to be intercepted, I believe, and oh, then he drops it. Jim Bob Harris dropped the ball. And Streeter, long count, now drops straight back. They're blistered the safeties. Look out, here's a man there. Touchdown, Hancock. Whoa, what a game. And a flag down back here at the 37-yard line. Hold it back. Hold it back. It's holding. 15-yard penalty. Well, the Alabama fans will love you for saying that. They loved it. But to make it a good game, Streeter dumps it out short, and Gary Moore can't hold on to it. 
It's third and 25 and I would assume that they would gamble for it down by 10. That'll give the fellows a chance to win. Street is going to try to take a chance now not being rushed this time has his man. Hancock caught the ball fumbled the ball got it back. Tennessee. Both wide receivers to the right Harper split wide left. Streeter back has the time delivers a football and it's well there's almost triple coverage on Anthony Hancock then almost triple coverage first down Alabama three and a half minutes to go they have been in a football game today but Tennessee the biggest move came in the first quarter a couple flags down looked like Alabama was not moving well at all as Whitman carried the ball 24 to 7 at the end of the first half but he dropped the football. First down and 15 as Alabama was guilty of motion on that last play their lineman moving. I formation they show us this time and the up back and that is Whitman carries the ball across the 35. Whitman. Second down and eight to go Alabama the clock is in their favor Haney carrying the football and gets across the 45 yard line or I should Haney. say the 40 near the 45 yard line. They stuck it out it's a young ball club very thin Alabama however has overcome its own mistakes. All of those fumbles intercepted passes and there goes Jacobs trying to repeat his touchdown play and it's good enough to get Jacobs. the first down and Jacobs on a pitch to Major Ogilvy who's had an outstanding day and there he goes again breaking tackles and out of bounds first down at the 38 yard line Major Ogilvy 122 the clock stopped as Ogilvy stepped out of bounds. There is Haney showing some Haney. speed. Major Ogilvy scored two touchdowns today, has 109 yards and 13 carries. Second down and short yardage now for Alabama. And Jacob still has the football. Hey, look at that straight arm. That's right out of Jack Armstrong, the All American <laughs> boy. 10 and Jacobs and Alabama are in no hurry. They're glad to get out of this. Flag goes down. So much are they not in a hurry that they're skinned. Tennessee came out to play them. <laughs> First down and 15 from the 25 yard line and jumping very quickly off. All of this is very academic. The last play of the game. And Jacobs is going to fall down to let it run out. And the funny thing, as he fell down, the clock didn't start to run and it's just now started to run. Five seconds, they'll count it down. It's all over. Congratulations, Johnny Majors of Tennessee, and congratulations to Paul Bear Bryant, who's now won 290 ball games in his career. He's lost only 77. And Alabama, the number one team in the nation starting the day, is now 6 and 0. Our final score, the Crimson Tide of Alabama 27, and the Volunteers of Tennessee 17.